Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am going to share the third process video working in my Grow Girl collection. This is the March monthly collection that I came out with in my Etsy shop and I'm having a lot of fun with it. This is the spread that I did in the last video. So if you missed that, I will definitely leave a link in the description box down below so you can check that out. Today I am going to be working, I think, on this page with this glorious gardening book here. <laughs> I just so happened to get lucky enough to get this beautiful page in here with that sketch drawing. So I think I'm going to be playing on the pages next to this book page. I do really like these time cards and I'm going to do the same thing I always do with this time card. I'm not going to add it there. I like leaving these blank unless I paint on them. I've painted on them. Perhaps I'll paint on that a little bit. But I think I'm going to make a pocket out of this and I'm going to add it here. I just have to decide if I want the green side up. It does match the book page or the red side up. I do like that this says this space is for timeout or lost time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the green side. I am just going to fold this up and make a little pocket out of it. I think I'm going to use my phone folder here. There. I like that. I think I'm also going to run this through my sewing machine since I am stitching in this book. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could. I would take a stapler. That is the next thing I would do. I like stapling on things like this. You could also do some hand stitching, but I'm going to run this through the machine really quick. I had to fight with my sewing machine a little bit because it got all nested up inside, but I got it how I want it. At first I was getting all creative with my stitching and then I remembered this is a pocket. <laughs> so I decided to keep it straight on the other side. But I think I'm just going to glue this down I'm trying to decide if I want to add a stamp up here. I think I've done so much flourish stamping in the last few months. Why not mix it up and not do that this time? There's an idea. <laughs> this time I'm not going to add the flourish stamps. I might play with some of my other stamps later. But I'm not feeling like stamping right now, so I'll just stick with this. So I'm using my Fabri-Tac glue, like usual. I love this glue for those of you who are new to my channel. It is not water-based, it's acetone-based. So instead of warping the other side of the book page like regular glue will do, this does nothing to the other side of the page. So I love that. The other thing I'm dealing with specifically with this bottle is the fact that it's almost empty. It gets very gloppy and it does and thick. It doesn't want to run. So all you do is add pure acetone to it and water it down with that and it works great. It'll flow wonderfully again. Okay, I'm liking that and I think I might have a small enough tag. I'm not going to use that one, but in my stash I have some tags. I just picked these up from Hobby Lobby. Awesome. And it fits perfect in there, so I love that. All right, so the next thing I think I'm going to do is add this little envelope to the other side. This was in the collection. I love the cellophane window there. It reminds me of when we get flowers delivered to us. So I like that. And I think I'm going to ink this up. I should have inked up the time card. How could I forget? I'm going to use my Distress Oxide ink in Mode Lawn. I love this color with this paper that's in this collection. It's so pretty. That's something I totally forgot about was the scrapbook paper that came in this kit. I haven't played with that yet. I have to dig that out here. I think I'm going to adhere the flap down. So I'm also going to ink up the inside. And I'm being very careless about this. I don't really care how even my little edging is. My edging is or whatever I just like the color all right and I think I'm just going to glue the back side of that flap down to my book page then okay 
keep it closed to start with so I know where I want it. There we go. And I might have added a little bit too much glue. Actually, what I did was I added a little bit too much acetone to my leftover glue. <laughs> and now it's running even quicker than I would like for it to. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. I have some of the leftover fabric ruffle that I used here on the cover of this book. So I'm going to use a piece of this. I also had sold a little bit of the leftover ruffle. Thank you guys so much who purchased that. Now I know that that is a likable item and I will do my best to try to include some of that in my shop, even my kits. I like to try to include it in my kits sometimes. So yeah, now I know and um, I'll make sure that I remember that. Also, if it didn't post already, it will post soon. I'm going to just share a quick video on how I create ruffles and an idea that I have, hopefully it works since I haven't filmed it yet, <laughs> but an idea that I have for making a ruffle if you don't have a sewing machine. So I'm excited about that. These are little cutoffs. So I'm trying to see if any of these will work out before I cut a new piece. I don't like to waste any of this stuff. It's too cute. I think I'll use this piece and I'm just gonna glue that down. I enjoy just adding glue again to the center of the ruffle and gluing it in place. And I do like it to poke out of my book a little bit. I love that when the book is finished up and all those little ruffles and strings are poking out. So these are the two six by six papers that came in the collection. I think I'm going, ooh, that's perfect for writing on. I don't even have to add any paper to the back of that. I love that. I'm just going to measure this envelope really quick and I'm going to cut a card that fits inside of it. So if I cut this at about two and three quarters and four and a quarter, I think we'll be good. I do love this paper. I think it's so pretty. Again, like usual, I will leave links to this paper collection down in the description box for those of you who are interested. I'm going to cut the two and three quarters first so I don't waste more of that paper than I would like to. And then four and a quarter. And I'm just going to take my corner rounder here. This is actually my favorite corner rounder. I've had it for years. I talk about it every time I use it but it, um, I need to order a new one. I need to sharpen it or just order a new one. They're like eight bucks and it's literally lasted me for years. I love that thing. There we go. But I'll leave a link to that down below. Sometimes people ask me about that. I'm going to use worn lipstick in this Distress Oxide color and just ink up the edges of my card. and the other side. And again, messy is fine. I just like adding the color on there. Okay, so hopefully this will fit and close nicely. Oh, so pretty, I love it. It's awesome and I could add some stickers here maybe that's what I'll do here in a minute. I think I will use my mowed lawn ink on this tag. I wish I would have remembered to ink that time card, but oh well. It's not like anybody is looking at this book but me. Well, and all of, all of you guys. But at my house, nobody is looking at this book other than me. I almost feel sometimes like I couldn't pay my family. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. My daughters will look at the journal when I'm done making it. They'll humor me and do that for me, but it's not like anyone's interested in seeing what I've done to it after I've created it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, there. I like that. Now I just have to figure out how I want to finish off this page. I did mention in the previous video that I did order the sticker sheet and this frames and tags. 
set that came with this spring market collection when they bought the paper back when I created the kits. So I will link these down below for anyone who's interested. But I might look in here and see if there's anything I could use to decorate my pocket. I'm thinking I would like to decorate this a little bit. All right, I think I'm going to play with a couple elements from the collection. Some of these tickets and tags maybe. And try to make a little collage out of it. I don't know, maybe this tag. No, I'll save that one. I do like these tickets. There's also the ski ball tickets that were in here. I haven't played with any of those yet. Maybe I'm zoomed in too close, but I don't know. I like this planted tag that came in that little ephemera pack. I'm going to use that worn lipstick ink. This is one of the little tab punches. And maybe I'll add some pink to this little flag here. And let's see. I pulled it out in another video, but this tattered rose ink is a really soft blush pink color. I think I'll use that one. It does have a hard time showing up in the, <laughs> my lights, but it's a really pretty soft pink, almost just pale. I don't know how to describe it. It's pretty. my Tombow Aqua Glue and just add a thin line of glue to the bottom of this tab. Right here on this little pocket. I made, hopefully I didn't get it on that tag. I think I'm going to staple these. Hopefully I got <laughs> that in the right spot that I wanted and I'll just glue down this ticket. I'm not really worried about gluing down that bottom ticket. I want a little bit of that <laughs> little tab poking out there so I can see that it's a tab. Now I find out whether I should have stapled this in as well. Probably so. Maybe if I just glue it down like that, that'll work. I have glue and ink all over my fingers. corner in that staple. There we go. I think that I will use just this cute little sticker here. I like that black border <laughs> that's on that little tag and I think I'm just going to add that to the top of this page for a little bit of extra something. Again, I mentioned I'm trying not to add too much bulk to this journal like last month's journal so that I can write in it a little bit easier. Then I'll flip back over to this page and let's see. It would be fun to decorate the inside of that card that's poking through that window a little bit. I really enjoy this Let Love Bloom piece. I do like this little eucalyptus <laughs> watercolor print there. That is what I love about this paper collection, is the watercolor, it's so pretty. That's a really pretty little frame piece. Okay, maybe since this envelope reminds me of the flower card, I think I will add that to the inside of this card. A little touch of that Mowed Lawn ink. Try not to add too much glue this time. 
and hopefully find a good spot to glue this down. Hopefully I picked a good spot, that is. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It would be fun to add a little sticker to the other side there. Let's start with seeing that. I like it. That's pretty. Okay, what else? I'm really drawn to this watercolor flower here. Let's just see. I think I like it on this envelope. Cute. And I feel like I should do something to the inside. Hmm. That little ephemera piece does seem to fit very well there. Okay. I think I'm going to glue these down. These are, again, little pieces of ephemera from that pack. I just like it. I like the touch of black and how it makes everything pop on the page. And it still leaves me a lot of room for journaling because I can write over the top of this envelope without a problem. I thought about adding some stamps and things, but I do think I'm going to try I have to force myself to keep that on a minimum because you guys know if you've watched my videos I tend to like a lot going on on my pages which is fine except that I do want to be able to really write in this one <laughs> so I have to save myself I have to save myself a little bit more space than I usually do there. very cute all right, you guys, I think that is it for this spread and for this video. I originally had thought about painting on the inside of this for some extra journaling room, but I love these flower pages so much. I think I'm just going to leave it as is, and then it's something I can enjoy when I'm flipping through the journal later on. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you. Again, for anyone who may be interested, the link to my Etsy shop in this collection will be in the description box down below. Also, the links for items that I used in this video as well for anyone interested. And just a big thank you to everyone who has purchased this collection. I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope that you're enjoying these videos as well. If you missed any of the other previous videos, those links will be down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!